Hi guys and welcome back to the Mara Brothers. I'm wearing a Christmas hat because this could be your Christmas gift. Now before I talk too much, let me quickly show you what the front side of the house looks like. You have a nice water feature with a water fountain, two islands with palm trees, landscaping and of course the majestic entry to the home, we'll get to that later. A carport right over here for two cars. I'm from here. Let's jump in, come on. Patrick, you wanna shoot in? Shoot in, my friend. Now, this is the main landing, the foyer of the first floor, where you also have the bedrooms. Now, let me quickly take this silly hat off. We have five bedrooms in this house. The west side of the house houses three of them. We have the main master bedroom in the entire section of the house here and one bedroom on the main floor. 527 square meters of built, 1,427 of plot. Now before I get lost in all the details, I love this, the wooden paneling here on the wall and of course this funky mirror to always make sure you look grand when you leave your home. Behind it, there is an elevator that connects to the first floor and the basement. Now, before I say too much, let's check out the bathroom. Bathroom, the master bedroom, let's go. 32 square meters in size, make this master bedroom really big. I like it. Now, before you zoom out, Patrick, you do have these transit windows here, have you seen them? Very nice, because they bring a light in, but they also expose the interior design downstairs, which is great. And now, to the master bathroom, let's go. Now we have here a freestanding bathtub, great. I don't like homes, by the way, where the bathtub is missing. There's a lot, the tendency, by the way, is to not have a bathtub. What do you guys think? Should a house have a bathtub? Comment yes. below. No, I said, what do you guys think? Not what do you think? Yes. Patrick, you have here rainbow shower. I shouldn't call it rainbow shower. It's a rain shower head, two of them. Right here, nice niche in the middle to store your goods. And of course, what cannot be missing in a toilet is a toilet itself with a bidet, a freestanding two sink vanity, funky lights right behind the mirrors here that automatically go on, solid bathroom. From here, let's check out the bedroom. Should we? Yep. Let's go. Now, before we head on to the main bedroom, behind these pocket doors, there's also a walk-in closet. Let's check it out. What we have is a lot of space on the left, on the right, and of course, a big mirror here so you could observe yourself and look fly before you go out. Now, moving forward, this is the master bedroom in all its glory. Big, opulent in size, a lot of natural light coming in, maybe for some even too much, but there's always a solution to every problem if you so spoiled to call it a problem. And that is the automatic blinds that close. You have one in soft blind, I would call it, let in some light, but if you don't like this, you also have the full blackout that we're gonna be showing you in a second. Are you gonna let it go all the way down? Patrick? Oh, yeah, this is the full blackout. Correct. So when you want complete darkness when you sleep, you bring them down and you enjoy peace and tranquility. By the way, from here, I hope you get to see, you have spoilers because this is your nice little garden area, but you also get a great view to the ocean and the golf course. And of course, a private covered terrace for the master. It has to be shown, come on, look at it. A lot of space and that view, come on. Isn't this view insanely beautiful? Or is it just me? I think it's fantastic. And from here, you also get to see the Porsche right over there that's 58 square meters and belongs to the three bedrooms on the west wing that I'm gonna be showing you now. So with no further ado, let's rock and roll. Come on.
Now, once again, big fan of this huge landing. You also have a transit window right over there, bringing natural light in. And Patrick, do me a favor, this is spontaneous. Come to me before and just twist around because the water feature not only looks nice from the outside, but it gives a nice reflection on the wall here as it just ripples the shades here. Fantastic, and you do get that effect in a lot of places in the house where the water is just mirrored and plays on the walls. Cool or what? Now let's check out the bedrooms. You ready? Are you Patrick? Yes. Let's go. Now we have this entire west side and this hallway, but it could also be closed down with this pocket door. Very convenient. As you might have noticed, I love pocket doors. Now we have three bedrooms here, 13 square meters, 13 square meters, and the last one is 20. I said we have a look at this one, so come, let's go. Now, what do you think of this bedroom? Do let us know right in the comments below. That actually rhymes, how cool is that? <laughs> All right, now we are again at the point where I over-exaggerate the views, but in this case, is it really an over-exaggeration when you have a view that unfolds as such every morning when you wake up? Of course, you have glass balustrades so that even when you lie in bed, you get to enjoy that view. Wow. Patrick, what do you think? Amazing. Am I just being too excited about the views? Yes. But come on, they're, they're really, they're class A. Now we have bedroom number two. I'm gonna jump in, detail shots, and we're gonna continue. Let's go. Now, you'll see bedroom number three, 20 square meters right behind me. I rhymed again, did you hear that? Let's go, come on, let's look at it together. Boom. Big in size, it's the biggest one on the west wing. It's 12 square meters smaller, but hey, before you zoom out, Patrick, you have a semi-walking closet here. Again, more of these little windows here, bringing natural light in, cupboard, spaces, LED light that pops up when you open it fully. It's a fur dinkum bedroom. And of course, you have of the toilet. Let's look at it together because it is, there's also a toilet there. There's a bathroom. Thank you, man. Let's go. Okay, welcome to the bathroom. Two double sinks here, floating LED lights, once again underneath and also behind the mirrors. And a lot of space here to shower under the rain shower head. Natural light coming this way once again. So what has been done in this house, you can really see it. There's been a lot of thought given to where the light will come in and where to put windows. And they've done a great job because this house is really light lit. Let's continue, come on. All right, let me quickly go out to the terrace again. But before we do, shoko floor to ceiling windows, sliding windows that open up, great. But what I wanted to point out was this wooden paneling here. It's a great disruption to the clean white lines, but also fuses well with the garden section that we're gonna show below. And of course, a palm tree. And for those who've seen our latest property tour, I always say palm trees mean summer, warmth, Mediterranean, good climate, happy life. Now check out the view, whilst I go back to this bedroom and disappear. But on the way doing so, you can see how nice the house presents itself from that corner. Come on, Patrick, we have the basement to show and the first floor and so much more. Let's go. All right, here I am again. Now, what I like, by the way, is you close this, Patrick. And the door frame disappears into the wall and you forget that there are three bedrooms on the west wing. Now I'm gonna be taking the elegant staircase down because we have the entire living area here that I would like to show you, so let's go. So 
super elegant staircase by the way we have 60 square meters here in this landing in the living area that's the formal living area i'm going to be showing you later we have a little informal section here and i am loving it because when you sit here and you're on that level you've got a fantastic view outwards thanks to the transit windows that go all the way up to the what triple height ceiling that we have here and again to really give a feeling of dimension you have these dangling chandeliers from above wow really nice and now kitchen time but before we show kitchen patrick quick look at the wine cupboard what would you call this wine cupboard wine display wine display oh, correct a cupboard you can take the bottles out correct it's very nice like how it went for the heavy wood. Don't go there. We have an elevator. Did we show how the elevator comes right here from the first floor where I've shown you? Imagine you have some food in your shopping bags. You come down with the elevator and you're immediately here in the open plan first floor. Now we have the dining area right here, big in size, a lot of windows once again, and this dance span kitchen island, big in size. All the appliances here are by Gaggenau, by the way. A lot of fridges. I like how they went for this clean, but yet natural look. Does that make sense, Patrick? Clean, but natural, because it's white. You have the white the wooden elements plastered here. Exactly, you have the wooden elements here. Solid, very nice. But most importantly, imagine you're cooking here. Just imagine it, and dream for a minute, and you've got that stunning view outwards from here wow it's me again let's have a look at the outdoor dining area right here so this is the entire covered outdoor dining area section with another chill out lounge and of course mountain views at the back and just this amazing area right up front here with your swimming pool, which is also heated infinity, exposing the views. And from there, Patrick, what I think you get to see is how many windows have actually been installed in this house to allow so much light to come in. Do you like that, Patrick? Yep. Is that what you're gonna say? Shiny. Nice and shiny. All right, what we also have here is a wooden deck area for sun bathing. You can just come lie down oh, and forget that you ever have to work but i thought you like your work don't you? i do but sometimes even i get tired now before i complain too much ladies and gentlemen we also have a divisional garden section here where they went for a nice here pedal stone subdivision before you come to the covered terrace area with more chill out lounges and possibilities and this entire strip is wall-to-wall -wall windows so you can imagine how much visibility you get from inside and now Patrick come a bit closer how about some detail shots of the living room let's go What you want is to preserve the visibility. And even on this level, you have such fab views outwards that you could just sit here all night long and watch the sun rise and set and the sky becoming a piece of art with all the clouds changing its color and tonation. Now, what I'm sure you've also seen in the detail shots is how big the space is here. As I said, you have 60 square meters and of course the dining kitchen area everything matches everything goes in a beautiful flow that's been a great job done and a gas fireplace and of course patrick led lights many of them installed underfloor heating throughout separate air conditioning controllable in every bedroom transit windows bringing natural light in but a lot of actual lights too bedroom don't so come so close i'm gonna see i'm wrinkly and old we have bedroom number five here, which is 17 square meters. It's a little bit, doing that again, stop it. It's a little bit smaller than the bedroom upstairs on the same side. Let's just have a look at it, come on. 
Now bedroom number five, 17 square meters. You have the same semi walk-in closet here, a lot of space and uh, the bathroom here. But most importantly, I don't want to show the bathroom because it's just as above. What I want to point out is that again here also, floor to ceiling windows and an access point outside, which is great. So picture this, you wake up, oh, I love life. You get out, you say, good morning life. I'm gonna conquer the world today. And then you jump in your own pool. And then you walk to the kitchen for a smoothie, for something healthy, for some avocado toast from avocados, which you get at a local farmer's market. Wow, I love the idea. And now basement time, come on. Do you see the depth and the feeling of space you have here? And I like how they went for another glass balustrade separation here to make the staircase seem like one solid unit. And now stairs down to the basement. Let's go. Now we have 280 square meters of basement. Wow. Now we have a guest toilet for the basement guests. We have a lot of space, pre-installed water, electricity. You can make this into a separate apartment, billiard room, games room, whatever the heart desires. You also have a lot of windows bringing natural light in. And the same goes here. Stay there, look how. Do you know what I mean with the space? Wow. Don't whistle in homes, it's bad luck. Stop it. I like to tell Patrick off. Now we also have a utility room right here. Let's have a look at it. Voila. It's a dirty kitchen. It's a utility room, washing machines, sink, cupboard spaces, everything you need. And now there's a secret room we have completely missed out in the kitchen. So let's go back upstairs and let me show you what I mean. Cause you also forgot Patrick. It's so secret, we forgot. Let's go. So what I'm about to show you is so secretive and so hidden that I have completely forgot about it. It's just an additional little room that serves many purposes. But again, you get to see this nice view that you have when you're in the kitchen. You cook here, you see your own entire living area but also the views outside. Now, ladies and gentlemen, behind the Gagano appliances, we have a little dirty kitchen pantry with a separate door outwards, a twin fridge, cupboard spaces, everything you need hidden. And of course, the fire extinguisher that you can just take out and go. You know what's fire? This home and it's gonna sell. The house is fire. It's, it's like saying it's cool. It's hip. It's hip, guys. This house is hip. Now, closing argument, ladies and gentlemen, houses in this area very often get snapped from the market when they're priced well, such as this one. For 3,950,000, you get a solid three-floored home with absolutely breathtaking views which i have expressed many times how many times did i say the views are great too many times, too many times but too many? no never no never i would say no never because this is what you pay for as well so thank you so much for tuning in to our property vlogs once again it was a real pleasure thank you for all the love that we received from you guys all the comments we do read all of them very happy that you guys find interest in it wow patrick you wanted to say something the view oh uh, again can, can you get out check out the view all right guys thank you for watching another mao brothers production i'm going to leave you with the view and we wish you all well all the best peace out